This is Eric from Push Along Videos. Now, in this very special series, I'll be looking at some of the games that I played at PAX Unplugged uh, 2017. Now, recently I was at PAX Unplugged 2017 to take a look at what it's like. I've been to other PAX events, uh, and I always notice that there's a board gaming um, area there. But this time, um, this is an entire convention dedicated to mostly board games. There were some video games there as well, but mostly board games. So I had a chance to go there, take a look at what it's like, and also uh, play some games. So in this uh, very special series, I'll be talking about some of the games that I've played at PAX Unplugged and a general first impressions of the games. So this is not a full review per se, but it should give you a pretty good idea of what the games are like. Uh, as I played them and give you my impressions as well. So let's take a look at uh, the games that I've played. Now I just want to take a moment here to thank uh, my sponsors. All right, Fun Again Games. Uh, Push a luck video is an affiliate of Fun Again Games. So if you go to funagaingames.com and when you check out after you buy uh, any games there, if you put my code PULV, that's a Papa Umbrella Lima Virgo. All right, in the affiliate code section, a little bit, a little bit of kickback comes back to me as well. So thank you very much if you do that. And also, uh, I like to thank Tasty Minstrel Games uh, for sponsorship. Uh, Tasty Minstrel now has a podcast and is my is run by my very good friend uh, Lance, uh, the Undead Viking. So um, if you want to take a listen to what Tasty Minstrel has to say about the board game industry, about the games they're releasing, do check out uh, their podcast as well. This is the first impressions look at uh, Tokyo Highway. Now, Tokyo Highway is by designer uh, Nao Takashimamoto and Yoshik Yoshiaki Tomioka. All right, it, it is by publisher Eaton. So this is a two-player game. It takes about 30 to 50 minutes to play and it's released in 2017. Uh, 2016, actually. Um, this was quite a big hit in Essen. A lot of people were looking at it because it looks cool. Uh, it is a game where the two players are trying to lay uh, as many highways as they can and try to be the first to put their 10 cars onto the highways. Now you can only do that if the the piece of um, stick, all right, it, it actually looks like a grey ice cream stick. All right, These are the highways that you're trying to lay on the, on the board. Now if you uh, lay it a if you're the topmost above your opponent's uh, highways or the bottommost below, you're the the one below, the first below uh, opponent's highway, then you get to place a car there. Now, if you manage to put a stick across two of your opponent's highway or below two of your opponent's highway or a combination of above and below, then you get to place two cars and so on and so forth. So you get to uh, able to place multiple cars as well. Uh, the interesting thing is that you get to put junctions, so there are these yellow uh, there are little discs that you can put junctions uh, and which will allow you to put multiple heights or else usually you must put either one above or one below uh, the preceding junction that you are branching off from. Now it is a dexterity game of uh, definitely, so you're trying to place this uh, cars carefully and gingerly and it, the game even provides tweezers for you to put uh, the cars on and if you happen to uh, let any other pieces fall or opponent's pieces fall then you must pay them in construction uh, items all right that means the blocks or the or the blocks that you need to give your opponents so if you you run out of the uh, the construction the blocks the pillars all right then you will lose the game otherwise it's the first to place 10 cars will win the game so i think it is it's interesting. It's definitely a sight to behold as the as your highway slowly build up and build up. But it does seem to me that most of the time players will be going round and round in circles because after all, you will not build one straight line. All right, most of the time you'll be you'll be trying to angle back or angle turn right or turn left to try to go over your opponent's highways. And in that case, then your opponent will do the same to you and so on and so forth. So it ends up might be looking more like a big circle of highways instead of like a like a, a straight highway or normal highway but it does look cool i mean when you build out everything it does look pretty cool like some futuristic or some very cool construction so it does have lend a, a sense of architecture to the game i say that this is so as first impressions go i would say that this is an 
okay you can try before you buy um there it only plays two but apparently i think if you get two sets of the game you could play more than two but i'm not sure how that would be like it's probably also more chaotic as well uh but it is definitely an interesting piece you could probably make it yourself but it's, but it's probably tedious to do it because you need to collect like quite a lot of the ice cream sticks make a lot of the uh, wooden discs as well so you might as well just get it it is a bit pricey uh, currently it was on bgg website for i think about 40 or 50 dollars so it's a bit pricey for what it is so i would say that if you get a chance to go uh, japan and you can get it there it's probably easier to get there so that's my first impressions of tokyo highway i think it's a try before you buy all right uh thank you so much for watching